This video is sponsored by my caffeine addiction. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another Just My Typewriter video. I am Sarah, and today I've decided to take two Smith Coronas and plop them against each other. Now what's interesting about these two machines is they're actually my first and most recent typewriter purchases. Over here we have the Smith Corona Corsair Deluxe from the 1950s. Bought it on eBay for about, I think by the time I figured out shipping it was like $70. Um, her name is Caroline, and then on this side I have a Smith Corona pacemaker from the late 60s, early 70s that I bought at an antique shop for about $25, and her name is Dame Maggie Smith. Now, even though I've had these machines for different amounts of time, I've had the Caroline almost for a year now, um, I've typed on them about the same amount because I've really been enjoying messing around with this pacemaker machine. So I want to see how they feel against each other and to see which one I like better. Okay, so for today's test, I've decided to do something that's not a poem or a page of my thesis. I'm gonna go ahead and type out every letter of the alphabet and then come up with a word that starts with each letter of the alphabet. So at the end, I'll have 26 words. I'm gonna alternate ribbon colors in between each line and see how the machine operates overall. So I'm gonna start with the Smith Corona Corsair Deluxe because it's the oldest one here and also like the OG in my typewriter collection. Um, so we're gonna give her a fair shot first. I have We Are Memory Keeper ribbons on both of my machines because I'm testing them out. This one has dark pink and black, so we're going to try that out. Hopefully this goes well and that I remember the order of the alphabet. <laughs> so here goes nothing. I've already spelled something wrong um, and it's been the first line. So this is going to go great. So I've already messed up and didn't change colors between lines on I and J, so I'm just gonna go back and <laughs> type over it, see what happens. Does anyone know of a Q word? Uh, because this is, this is harder than I thought it would be. At the bottom of the page, I'll do the whole keyboard in black, just to see what it looks like on both machines. So I'm going to take this very elaborate list of excellent words and go ahead and type it on the Smith Corona Pacemaker just to see the difference in feeling on both machines and so I can give a better review of both machines. Okay, so we just finished typing on both machines. I've got both of their type sheets up here. I'm going to take a look at them, compare just the text differences, and then talk about the feel of the machines. So right off the bat, I'm noticing that the font size on the portable is three or four points bigger than here on the pacemaker, which would mean that I could get more words on one page here on the pacemaker. And that's pretty interesting to me. I'm also noticing that I probably need to clean the letters on the pacemaker because I'm getting filled in sections on letters like O or A or E. And that's usually something you can fix by just brush cleaning off the letters and getting the gunk out of the inner parts of those letters. So that's something I'm gonna have to do on the pacemaker just to make it type better. Overall, I was really surprised at how much I enjoyed typing on the Smith Corona Corsair Deluxe. It has not always been my experience to have the best time with portable machines. Um, so I was really surprised. Maybe I just haven't used it in so long that I forgot what it felt like, but I really enjoyed typing on it. Um, and I'm definitely gonna go back for this more often. I'm definitely still working on getting the pacemaker up to a level that I like, but I have been enjoying work writing on it a lot. Um, it's really good for typing on postcards, which I've been doing through post crossing because it'll accept a lot heavier paper. So I really enjoyed this process of checking out two different Smith Corona machines. And I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you're interested in more typewriter stuff, you should check out our Instagram at just.my.typewriter. I try to post pictures there every couple days of my collection, historical posts, things that you can learn about the typewriter community. And it's a lot of fun to be part of that community. So you should definitely check that out. We also have a Facebook page called Just My Typewriter and a website. And you can also always watch more videos about typewriter content here on this YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon, and remind you that you are just my type writer.